Pie šogad jau 84. reizi norisināsies pasaules čempionāts hokejā, un tas notiks Šveicē. Šis būs jau desmitais čempionāts, kurš norisinās šajā valstī. Lai gan jādzīmē, ka 1928. gadā Šveicē notika Eiropas čempionāts, jo pasaules čempionāts hokejā sāk aizvadīt vien no 1930. gada. Šogad čempionātu uzņems divas pilsētas – Cīrhi, kurā čempionāts norisināsies jau ceturto reizi, un Lozana, kurā ir uzbūvēta jauna hale un tikai otro reizi uzņems lielo hokeja fórumu. Gaidāmais pasaules čempionāts hokejā Šveicē. Par to nākamajā stāstā. Switzerland is a beautiful country and uh, is well known for uh, excellent service and um, making people um, being um, held here well and um, for the hospitality reasons and the public transport and everything, good food. Um, we hope that did those are reasons to come here and of course um, the best players of the world are playing um, hockey for uh, more than two weeks. So basically, we're going to play in two different cities. Uh, it's going to be in Zurich and in Lausanne. Um, two different cities, two different languages, two different cultures in a way as well. Zurich will be the main arena where we are um, sitting right now. Uh, here will be all the final games, uh, meaning uh, semi-finals and finals. And in Lausanne will be preliminary round and two quarter-final games. It's very exceptional in Switzerland. We are a very small country and we have four different official languages, uh, which we are very proud of. Um, but basically, if you're not being able to speak any of the, of the Swiss languages, people mostly speak English and you uh, won't have problem uh, yeah, to being helped out here. But of course, if you speak any German or any French, you're always uh, on the better side. It's very easy to travel and uh, as well we are proud of our uh, public transport system. There are lots of trains, trams, buses and everything and that's very well organized. We're proud as well that we are most of the time on time uh, with the public transport and it's very easy to get here and both arenas are very very close to train stations. Here in Erlikon you can walk in five minutes to the main arena and in Lausanne it's even less than two minutes. It's an interesting story. We uh, actually started with the second venue because we knew that Lausanne is going to build a new stadium, state-of-the-art stadium. We wanted to go to Lausanne because we know, we know that there is a huge hockey community, meaning um, Lausanne was kind of fixed and then we had to find the second venue. We had to find a bigger venue, so Bern would have been a possibility, but Bern is too close to Lausanne. So the next biggest stadium was Zurich, so the choice was actually made. Because in terms of um, commercial reasons, we have to have a stadium where we can so se sell more tickets than in Lausanne. So um, I think this is a pretty good mix. Two wonderful cities uh, with a lot of things to do beside hockey. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to that. But here in Zurich we don't have any, any standings, it's all chairs, but in Lausanne we have an exceptional uh, solution. Uh, we do have a standing area, a standing, uh, uh, it's the same as in Lausanne, but just it's going to be divided. But uh, in Lausanne we will have the possibility to uh, sell standing tickets. The cheapest one is from 19 francs in, in, uh, in the preliminary round, and that's a quite a good price, I'd say, for a World Championship game. Um, yeah, but that's, uh, I think I've never seen it before in another World Championship. That's a very exceptional thing in Lausanne. I would say like Swiss people are not really well known to be very emotional or enthusiastic uh, in comparison to the Latvian fans for instance. When the Latvian fans came I was like so noisy and so loud and so much party. Um, but as soon as Switzerland uh, is, um, got, got better and better in the tournament, people came and gathered together and uh, made a huge party. But um, it usually takes some time until the fans are really getting loud. 
I wouldn't say all the time, but most of the arenas are pretty uh, well filled, pretty uh, sold out. Um, especially in Bern, we have like a huge, huge arena. Here in Zurich uh, as well, the, the attendance is quite big, quite big. Even though football is big in, in Switzerland too, but um, yeah, hockey is definitely something that people love, and we hope that uh, the attendance will be in the same way during the World Championship. I always loved hockey. I used to spend a lot of time uh, on hockey rinks when I was young, but I never played um, like professional. And then uh, I got the opportunity in 2013 to work for the Swiss Federation. And I uh, used to be head of communication uh, for the whole federation and especially for the national team uh, from 2013 until 2018. And that was, uh, was a very, very great experience for me because I love hockey and um, to be part of this organization and to be part of, uh, of, of the national team and um, to go um, through bad and very good times, um, to be um, responsible for lots of media and journalists and um, traveling around with them and really gather this experience. That was for me an absolutely amazing uh, experience. I was proud being part of the team in Copenhagen when we won the second silver medal in uh, five years. And I think uh, this shows that um, the quality of Swiss hockey really got better and uh, we show uh, that we can compete with the best of the world. And as well uh, that we have um, lots of key players as well in the NHL that shows that Swiss hockey obviously got better uh, in the last few years. But that means that the work with the development and the young players started even earlier because if you don't have the base of the good players, you're not able to build a good national team on the international level. I'm Swiss and I hope of course that Swiss is going to uh, to make good results but in the end we just still organize a tournament for 16 teams so um, every team is important and um, we want to feel every team at home here and um, organize a good, co a good uh, uh, tournament for every na nation and in the end um, every, everybody should be happy about being here and think this was a great tournament so um, I um, won't be just here and cheer up for Switzerland and I probably won't be seen very often here at the rink, sitting here and watching games. I mean, we have as well here um, temporary buildings. We have to put the video, uh, a video uh, globe, uh, um, a video cube uh, above here. Uh, this is going to be built by the beginning of March. It's going to be a big thing. Uh, as well, we built um, uh, locker rooms for all the eight teams beside the arena. So we, in here, we just have uh, game day dressing rooms. Uh, this is, uh, also has to be built in a very short period of time. As well, we have a fan zone outside, of course, because we want to have the fans uh, stay here uh, after before the games. And um, as well, we have to build a media center, for instance, um, volunteer center. So um, this involves a lot of um, uh, work on top that we have to build up just for a very short period of time. So the mascot, the, the mascot is called Cooley. He's cool and he's a cow. So that's the work game. Um, it's been invented in 2009 already. And um, yeah, people loved him and he worked out very well. So we thought, why should we, invent, uh, should we invent a new one, a new mascot, if we already have one that worked out so perfectly. Um, he was just um, being the mascot as well for athletics, uh, athletic sports, uh, Weltklasse Zürich, a few years ago. And he worked out very well there as well. So yeah, the decision was made pretty, pretty easily and pretty fast that Cooley is going to be the mascot again for this World Championship. We need to we need to sell approximately 307,000 tickets for the break even. We got a budget of 50 million, and if we uh, if we got the break even and if we make more of out of it, of course we're gonna um, support the development of Swiss hockey. That's um, that's the plan.
Now uh, we started with the single game, uh, single game tickets uh, in uh, 4th of February. Since 4th of February, you're, uh, you can buy single tickets. Basically, it's only possible to, pay, to uh, buy single tickets by now. Um, this used to be different before. And now we really hope that uh, we can um, sell the last tickets that are still there. Lots of games are already sold out or very filled very well. Uh, we, we sold approximately 250,000 tickets by now. So now we are on the final, on the final road. From a commercial perspective, uh, of course, uh, we want to have the break even, that's for sure. Um, that we sold uh, enough tickets to have the break even, that's, that's the first um, objective. And second of all, our claim is to make history. This doesn't uh, only count for the teams, this uh, is our claim as well as organizing committee. We want to make history, we want the people to say that this was a perfect tournament, that they all felt um, very, very um, welcome and um, that they had a very good time and that they will uh, think back um, and have great memories of this tournament for a long time. So. Um I'm Swiss and I love living here and I'm proud um, to live here and I think uh, we want to show to, uh, to, to, to the people from abroad that it's really worth it to come here and that um, it's um, beside hockey that's a beautiful beautiful destination um, and that you can do so many things uh, that you have so many different cultures let's say in on such a in such a small country as I said so many different languages and and um, you have like in Ticino it looks like Italy and in uh, in Lausanne it looks like in France so it's like it's like we're in the middle of Europe and we have really really um, lots of different and interesting things to show and give and um, I'm pretty sure if everybody everybody that comes here will experience that and will be won't regret come here.